I have a few examples here of a very simple tandem streamer, uh, bucktail, that we use here uh, a lot in central New York State in the Finger Lakes, trolling for trout and even walleye. I fish this style streamer, also uh, Susquehanna River. Um, I'll add a split shot maybe uh, 12 inches up from the uh, streamer itself and kind of jig it sideways from shore and have caught plenty of wild walleye that way. But I started thinking about reasons why certain, you know, certain aspects of a tandem streamer in particular. Why have I, you know, I, I, I tie these just the way I was taught um, by my father. I've been tying it this way for decades. I've tied some streamers following certain patterns with that trailing hook pointed down. And on these, it's always been pointed up, reversed from the... Uh, that forward hook. So I started researching just a little bit, trying to figure out why we would do something like that, the reasoning behind it. My best guess was uh, to hide that second hook in the wing material. Um, a lot of the uh, examples you might find will have a, a nice big uh, saddle feather or two is the wing on, on, the, on a streamer and uh, that trailing hook pointed up is hidden nicely in, in the material tied. But then you can find just as many examples opposite. My second best guess would be um, if you're fishing deep, uh, maybe trolling closer to the uh, bottom, having that second hook facing up just to avoid snags. Um, along with that same rule of thought, switching the direction of that trailing hook to face downward um, when you're trolling at a shallower depth in the uh, center of the water column to improve your hooking ability. So. You know, those are all just best guesses, ideas that I came up with, ideas that uh, other fishermen, you know, as we discuss this, what they've learned over the years. Books on the subject uh, really don't discuss that all that much. I was able to find some information in some of the literature that said something similar. Um, you know, the, the trailing hook pointed up for improved hooking ability and that uh, having the second hook rotated to the same direction as that forward hook improves um, the stability of the of the streamer as as you troll with it so that was kind of interesting though I'm still you know looking for definitive answers but in my research, and what I want to show before we, we start tying some of these, I found in my father's collection, um, these streamers were tied by John T. Worth. This is an old handmade fly wallet. It's not easy to find these, I suppose. Some of the old timers would just make their own. So this is just a cheap vinyl and cheap foam fly wallet. All these tandem streamers were tied by John T. Worth, my father, and I am guessing, best guess on the age of these is that they were all tied in the mid, early to mid 70s. So um, it's a nice little treasure, and we're going to take a look at some of these a little bit bigger than what I keep in the inventory and sell uh, mainly. To a lot of the dealers here in New York State. Um, many of these are, let's see here, you know, a little bit bigger, but there's some variations here that are very interesting. And uh, what we'll do is I'm going to set some of these up so we can get a better look at not only the ones that are obvious with um, maybe some extra color or a bead or something. Some of the different hooks that were used, which now starts making me think of uh, some more questions um, that I'm going to try to answer. So let me set these up and 
we'll take a closer look at this this wonderful old fly wallet so some of the examples that I found and I do not believe that any of these are true patterns they, they might be similar or use you know certain um, aspects of a, of a fancier streamer that you'd find you know what I would think of like a Maine somewhere in Maine or New England states but I do not believe that any of these are, are true patterns this one for example same size as our is, is the standard one that I sell he's got tandem uh, tied with the uh, trailing hook pointed up is an interesting chenille body for the uh, shank of the hooks and of course the uh, little it's a little uh, beat up now um, but the peacock curl for the for the top wing it's an interesting looking combination the thing I'm uh, I notice right off is the the head itself and on all of these the head seems to be a little sloppy I'm a little it's, surprised they seem utilitarian I suppose is a, is a interesting way to explain it. it they're more of a tool I guess and and less of a artistic type streamer you know that you would see tied with the fancy feathers and whatnot so this next example three color combination looks like his the trailing hook on this one's a little bit long it's a, a longer shank trailing hook than what I'm going to demonstrate when we tie a few of these and the hair is looks like originally the hair on these extended quite a bit farther than let's return to our example that is very popular in what we sell today um, this one just a good example typical bucktail and again that sloppy head this one just got that six or eight pound mono tied to it uh, for trolling in the finger legs here's another one with some peacock curl that looks like it was added as a um, center line at least on that side <laughs> it could have been on top I suppose maybe this has been a little crushed a little bit sitting in that wallet for 35 years but uh, again the hairs are extending a little bit farther past that trailing hook than I'm used to seeing but a nice fly nice combination yellow red um, with a peacock curl let's go to this next line some of these had were a little bit different now again now here here's an example where that trailing hook is face down and in line with that forward hook and uh, I I have my own uh, suspicions I, I do believe that there's something to be said about the balance created with the weight of the point of the hook of each hook pointed down I suspect it acts somewhat like a keel I guess um, for lack of a better description being and helping your fly track um, as you're trolling so red and white nice combination and again this has the peacock curl um, on the back for some flash and a little bit uh, of a variation red and white with a red head and again this trailing hook is pointed down and this these last two they had uh, gold the French tinsel was gold which uh, nice a little bit different a little bit different again on that red theme the trailing hook here has been it uh, points up but it looks like dad added a plastic bead in on the mono that connects the two tandems and again with that uh, this one curl um, has the treble hook for the trailing hook 
and it's a little bit it's uh, set quite a bit back from from the uh, forward hook as compared to the rest of these which were you know there's only about an eighth of an inch or, or so between the eye of the trailing hook and the bend of the uh, forward hook so very interesting I thought that was kind of neat and we've seen patterns you know a lot of the traditional patterns that show uh, a treble hook as the trailer um, again black and orange this has red bucktail added in the center for some uh, color and again that uh, treble hook as the trailer and then these last two were quite interesting this for black and orange not surprised at the color looks like two hooks lashed together which is quite possible um, that was my initial thought the eye of this hook looks like it's a flat piece of metal but this, this double hook very interesting without taking this streamer apart to be absolutely sure it's quite possible that this is a mustad I believe they're called a bait holder hook it was a double hook on a single shank but all the ones I remember ever seeing in person and the and what I have found in the, my old Mustad uh, dealer catalog this eye looks like it's a flat piece of metal with a hole just punched through it and I believe on the pictures that I've seen of these bait holder hooks the shank kind of forms a diamond profile and it does flatten out but it has a it has a it has a pointier tip in the in the hole is oval like a needle um, sewing needle I believe is is what the mustad bait holder hooks are so I am guessing I don't want to I don't want to cut these apart um, since I only have a few examples but I am guessing that that is two streamer hooks lashed together with a handmade eye that's also lashed to the end of those that's my guess and then there's a second one like that I, very interesting this one has a, a regular trailing hook uh, tied in tandem but there's there's those two hooks tied together and again, it, it, it appears that is a handmade eye. You know, that looks like a piece of metal to me that was shaped and then punched with a hole. It does not look like the, the needle, the sewing needle look to the Mustad uh, bait holder. There's our look at... A neat old treasure like I said I believe that this my best guess in terms of age of this old fly wallet belonged to my father John T worth these streamers are most likely from the early to uh, mid 70s real neat real neat old bucktail streamers